All right, gang. Hey, thanks for coming online. Those in the room, appreciate it. Um, we always talk about events. And so um, Jennifer Cook and I, Jennifer's the education person. Um, so she and I were putting some classes together and I thought, well, how about how you do events? And I've got from John, who's in here, John Walker, he says, you should do one on how to do a mailing. And we're going to do one of those in July on A to Z, how to do mailing and what you what you need to look at. I'll just put it on the, uh, I don't know you guys, I don't, I'll just put this on events. There's so many ways to do it. And there's so many events you could do. And I think what you, you and I were talking and you said, if nothing else, follow your passion. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to quit talking now. Uh, Chris is with us. Chris has been in the business for about 10 years and she's done nine, nine years. <laughs> and we went through her stuff and she says, I've done over 50 types of events in nine years. I said, do you feel tired now? He goes, yes, I do. I feel very tired now. So, but it's not just the event right up front would say the event creates the opportunity for contact. But anyway, so I'm going to handle the keyboard. Chris is going to go with it. So I want you to say how you got in real estate and then we'll get into the, get into the presentation. So hi everyone. Thanks for coming. And um, I have popcorn for everyone. Who yeah. up, by the Look way, that. that's a good component, yeah. you know, having an event <laughs> and you know, for, well, we can go into it later, but um yeah, how I get it, got into um, real estate was I hated my corporate job. It was really soul sucking. And um, I actually did events when I was at my corporate job. Um, and it was during a recession. And my, um, you know, my thing was clothing swaps. So I, you know, put together these events where, um, you know, you get to, trade clothes with someone like designer clothes or like nicer you know clothes and um not my kmart walmart yeah okay and yeah the washingtonian picked it up and nbc4 and i just had so much fun doing it and that's why events are it's not a chore if, if you like people if you like meeting them and keeping in touch with them and you know, finding out what what's going on in their life um this is, you know, something that uh, could be really fruitful for you, you know, um, you know, it could be something that would grow your business. Um, <clears throat> and let's see. So did I answer all your yeah, questions? Yeah, that's good. So now we'll just get into your outline. Okay. So why do we do events in real estate as a real estate agent? Face to face. Anyone online? Yeah. Or are you guys? Yeah, guys. Phil, you're on the speaker up here, guys, that are online. Just please unplug and, and speak if you know yeah. what I ask. So it's like person to person interaction for direct, you know, direct contact. That's why we need to do events. That's right. It's keeping in touch with them. It's, 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 no, it's it's coming from contribution, right? Like you're, you know, it, you're getting a whole bunch of people together. You're paying for the food. You're, you know, you're sometimes it's educational, you know, so it's something for that they can learn. Um, uh, so yeah, it's 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 good that you're getting in front of people. They know you're active, and I never talk about real estate when. When like, I, you know, the social level. Yeah, they know you as a person, you know, that, yeah. So, and everyone kind of has like their guard down because they're having fun. Um, so, yeah, I don't talk about real estate personally if it's not a seminar or something mm -hmm. um, because it always comes up. Like they know what you do and they always ask, how's the market? And it just comes up and, you know, or they'll have something, you know, that they did to their house, you know, like a, like a, like an upgrade or something. So, um, it's good for that purpose. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good for generating referrals and repeat businesses, you know, uh, business. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to, learn how to plan an event um, and, you know, we're going to invite people. We're going to, you know, how to learn how to host and 
follow up. Follow up is the key. After your event, um, you've got to you know keep following up just to close that um, okay. loop. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we talked about yeah, this. Talked about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So event planning goals and budget. So let's say, um, okay, we're going to talk about how to, okay, this is actually going to be my next event. Okay, and, yeah. Um, I've done movie nights, um, you know, that, that the office puts out, but I'm, you know, I think it's kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do, I, I think it's like six, 25 by the time 20? you get done it's it's several hundred dollars yeah so yeah. if you're doing that when you really want to make sure that you're doing the pre-work because i do movie night right and it is about six hundred dollars by the time you drop it yeah right. and yeah. and I mean, it, which is great i mean it's it's okay john is gonna say something <laughs> such a poverty mentality yeah 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 i'll tell everybody what the average commission on a home in northern true Georgia. you get one referral who cares? Right, right. Okay, yeah. so so okay, six hundred dollars. You know that's that's actually doable. Yeah. But I feel like I still did all the steps myself, and yeah. you know, I mean, for someone who um you know doesn't have like an assistant who can you know draw up the flyers and or you know create the flyers and everything, um, then it's a good use of your money, right? Yeah. Um, but for me, I could probably do it for about you know half that. So, um, okay, let's just plan that. Yeah. Should we should we start planning, or should we just? Say well, you're going to show them. that's a self that's an office thing, and that's a plug and play. I'd be interested in what's your next event. Okay, well, that was going to be my next event, okay. but oh, yeah, okay, about, yeah. all right, go ahead. We can talk about. Um, Are you doing something this summer? No, but I've done a okay. summer one, like a pool party. Okay. Okay, so all right. Um, Okay, the pool parties are good at the beginning of the summer. That was my one, you know, little mistake. Like, I mean, it wasn't a mistake because whatever. Um, I had it at the end of the summer and everyone's kind of just, you know, tired of going to the pool. Sunburn. Right. Yeah, sunburn. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would plan it at the beginning of the summer. So what you would do is, okay, pick out a venue that's sort of central to your sphere or where you farm. Um, I do, you know, a lot of business in McLean. So I picked um, McLean's Women Tennis. Um, and I was, I'm also a member there. So, um the venue to rent for the afternoon was, I mean, this was pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. um, it was about $200. Oh, wow. That's pretty yeah. cheap. Yeah. And I think maybe that's a member rate or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, you had access to um, all the grills in the back. Um, and so I had, I, I pretty much did the cooking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was great. I mean, everyone loved my burgers. I had like the yeah. special marinade. Um, and you know, my lender, um, my lender actually paid for it. So I spent zero dollars. Um the food and condiments and all that stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh yeah, so what okay, so yeah, everyone just had fun. Everyone brought their families and the adults, you know. We, you know, we were just talking while their kids were playing and um, we had little tchotchkes. Um, he happened to work for Shoreline Bank. So he had like a little, um, like a shovel and a um, pail right. and um, we put water in there and like candy and some of his branded stuff and yeah. some of my branded stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's the venue. So you're saying, choose, would you have a theme for the pool party, or the pool could. party is the theme? The pool party is the theme, is the and theme. we just okay, had, yeah, right. you know, a barbecue. Yeah, or, you know, we just had a barbecue. So, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and so so you choose a. I mean, you don't have to choose a theme, but 
you can just say summer's out, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Okay. Um, okay, so we select a venue, we select a time and a date. Um, that's pretty easy for a pool party. It's 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 better to have an event on a Saturday yeah. because it's you know, every, work, yeah. yeah, and Sundays are you know open. Well. If they're shopping for houses, that's right. where open houses yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, church and stuff. So, um, okay. All right. So, all right. So the first thing we need to do is to create a list. And right, real quick, uh -huh. guys, we're going through the how on this right now. And then the next portion She's going to let us see all her marketing material that she did. So, yeah. It's good. So, we're going to see a lot of uh, graphics coming here. So, hang on. We're going to see a lot of that good stuff. This is the this step is the crux step. of it, though. Yeah. This is the step by step crux of what you got to do. Okay. So, yeah. So, we've got to create the list. And it really depends on what you're putting out for um, like a VIP event, like your A plus and your A clients. Um, you know, the. You, you, so it's, well, yeah, I'm kind of getting into the minutia of it, but, okay. um, but yeah, you want to invite all your clients, um, the, pre the past clients, the present clients, and the potential clients, but sometimes, like the last event that I had was um, at Ship Garden at Tyson's, and we had a happy hour there, uh, well, no, it was Cinco de Mayo, and every, like, my VIPs got a perk like they got a drink ticket <laughs> uh <-huh. Yeah. laughs> where the rest of them you know they could eat you know the nacho and the nacho bar and yeah. you know, they just got soda or water if you don't drink well i guess you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. um okay so yeah have a little something for your vip that the others don't have and it works because my one client who has not referred me anything and he always comes to my events you know, he was like, oh, can I have a drink ticket, Chris? And I was like, have you referred me anyone? Yeah. <laughs> and he was fine. And then at the end, he was like, you know what? I got to get with you about buying something. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess people kind of like earn, earn. So you got your list and you, you're designing and sending the invite. Yeah, you're designing and, and sending the invite. Um, and Canva has a ton of nice looking templates um which that's predominantly what we're about to see yeah with all the canva products you've used all canva mm -hmm. and um send them on time and follow up how far in advance are you thinking i usually do mine a month in advance right. um if it's a big event which i haven't really done like some people spend like upwards of you know five ten thousand um you know i i send that uh, probably a month and a half. Save the date. Yeah, to two it. months out, you know. And do you do a reminder? Yes, yeah, so that's the key. So you're sending out events, you're, you're sending out invitations. invitations, like I usually send it out through my newsletter, and then I call them, right? Like I wait about a week because people will RSVP, you know, uh, yeah, those people will just RSVP. You've got a, you have a call to action. Right. To RSVP. Yeah, I have a call to action to RSVP. Yeah, that's important. And I usually set a date, like RSVP by, you know, a week before the actual event. Um, but sometimes you, you always get people who RSVP right away. You don't have to follow up with them. Um, and then about a week out is when I start my outreach. And I start with my A clients, like your, your class clients, present clients. You really um, want to see them. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones like, hey, you paid me tens of thousands of dollars. I want to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Yeah. And, and also, you know, your referrals. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, um, and then I go through my data, uh, my database and, you know, it's, I have a tendency of waiting until the last minute. So it ends up in a form of a text, but there's this handy dandy reach. It's it's an app called Reach mm -hmm. and it can send out like mass text, but it's still personalized. So okay. it's gonna be like, hi John, you know, 
So how does that, that real quick on that piece? It's yeah. an app you're on your phone. Yeah. Does it reach into your database or do you have to add a database? You still have to add your database. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think it's only um, it's only compatible to an iPhone. Okay. Okay. So um, I didn't mean to get too far. I thought maybe this was more, you know, whatever. You keep uh, on going about okay. the invite and everything. Yeah. Okay. So so the set so that would be your second touch really is 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 your text and sometimes they just text right away and I'm like oh my gosh I haven't like gone through my whole list yet I mean sometimes for hours I'm like just responding to text which is great that's what you want um and it's and not a waste of time it's not a waste of time right uh and then toward the end of the event if they still haven't responded I do another outreach so that's you know the third outreach um, so you've mailed. Uh, yeah. Your, in I, your newsletter, you mailed something oh, to your new right. Is that right. is that yeah, your email, newsletter? Email. Email. Okay. Email newsletter. Yeah. They're responding. Yeah. And then you wait till a week before and you start texting. No, I we I wait a week mm -hmm. after. Oh, a week after texting. you start texting. Yes. Hey, did you get my invite? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I follow up again to the people who didn't respond. Um, the week before. Okay. So, so it's um, Saturday coming up this Saturday, coming up in two Saturdays. So this week you would be calling and, and, and following up again this week mm -hmm. to hit that deadline of I need a head count. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, you know, you could say that like for head count, like for food, you know, yeah. drink purposes. Yeah. Um, you know. um <clears throat> okay. So staff and volunteers, uh, so when, you know, UT helps, you know, uh, universal title, yeah. um, Amy's great. She, you know, she takes pictures of the event and, um, yeah, she's just a good right hand person to, um, to have on site. Um, and it's good for them too. They, yeah. you know, it's advertising for them. Um, What's an engaging event or activity? Engaging event? Oh, well, okay. I, I, engaging activity. You said yeah. plan engaging activity. Yeah. So for instance, I had a breakfast with Santa um, at my earlier year, in my earlier years. And this might be good for newer agents who, you know, are kind of like, okay, how do I really plan one? You know, what if you guys like all got together and planned a whole big event? And, you know, if your client base isn't that that big yet, if you get two people, you know, if, 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 you know, Sam gets two people, well, maybe Linda will get like 10 and it will, you know, it, it'll just be a big, it'll look like a big event and everyone respects, you know, everyone should respect each other's sphere. So, you know, don't worry about stealing, you know, getting them, right. having them steal your clients. Um, yeah. So that's what I did with the breakfast with Santa. Um, we had, um, you know, like breakfast items and, um, I think it was called mimosas, mimosas and, and Santa, but, but my, something that was engaging was we had a photographer there, like a free, you know, they could get like a free photo with the Santa. Um, we hired the Santa and then, um, hired the photographer and, um, yeah, they got a free photo, but it's all digital, you know. Right. For now, what I do is for my VIPs, I pay for the photo mm -hmm. um, and then send it to them. Um, but you know, if they if not, then they would have to pay for it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's something engaging. Uh, okay. You're saying arranged catering. Yeah. So you're not the hamburgers you cook. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. something like this, you would have an outside. Well, we actually or something? did it in that training room when we had the training room. Okay. You'll see from the pictures. Um, yeah, so that was really, really low budget. I mean, it, it turned out really nicely, though. Um, I think, yeah, the, the one thing we had was like Dunkin' Donut. Um, uh, the Munchkin things? No, no. It was like a really nice... Um, Oh, that was actually for, for Easter. We had like little birds. You oh. know how they decorate their donut? Yeah, that was yeah. really cute. Um, but yeah, you just get muffins from Costco and, you know, mimosas. You know, that's really easy to make. Like, um, 
champagne and orange juice, um, fruit. Yeah, you'll see from the pictures. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, Who are you but, but with for the, the I think you could also, like when I had it at Ship Garden, I worked with their catering department. What is Ship Garden? Is that a restaurant? It's like a, like a, like a, like a, so they go and, I mean, they have, it's a venue where you can okay. have, like you can see shows, you can see, oh, you know, okay. bands, but oh, it's really okay. family friendly and dog friendly. Like there's a dog park and, I mean, not a dog park, but like a little dog. Got it. And yeah. Whatever. Uh, with like, yeah, they have bouncy houses and they have a pavilion where my event was. And, you know, I worked with a catering company to, okay. you know, bring out the nachos and, you know, when it ran out, they brought out another. But that's one. important. You don't want to be the waiter and the cook and everything. Yeah. Like oh, you're yeah. Trying to get belly to belly with people. Yeah. Like during don't... the pool party, my lender like grilled oh, okay. my husband too. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You don't want to be stuck like doing the work, right? Like the point is to, you know, go around and, and spend time with as many people as you can. Okay. Okay. Staff and volunteers. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, like Amy, you know, someone from UP. Oh, okay, got it. Right. Partner okay. with them. Uh, okay, so we can go to the Great. next one. Okay. Oh, okay. So hosting the event. All right. So okay, we're gonna do the setup. We're gonna we're preparing the venue. Um, you want to get there an hour before. Um, just a just to make sure that, you know, if, if you have like tablecloths, for instance, you know, you've got to put those down. Um, yeah, you got to like just put signage. Signage is important if the event, if the venue's big. Um, do you just use your open house signs or do you have special? I have, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Um, and I also have signage that my old lender um gave me it was like a banner mm -hmm. um signage um but I don't he he moved companies so right. I kind of just like cut him out and then <laughs> UT is still there and I'm still yeah. there so yeah I hang that up um and yeah just whatever supplies you have um okay so we can talk about we can oh, talk yeah. about this um so for a movie night I wouldn't really use this because obviously they would get the popcorn from the movie theater um, but I would probably have, um, you know, some sort of candy and, you know, some branded item in there that you could, you know, just throw in. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, okay, so prepare the venue, um, welcome guests, and, um, yeah, you just want to go around and greet everyone personally and, yeah, make sure you talk to all of the attendees, right? Um, and um, uh, do you ever get up and talk, John, like during your events? No. You don't? Okay, so I, people, I don't either. But... You know, some people say you should get up and thank everybody for coming and all that. We're kind of doing that, that as they come and go. Yeah, so it really depends on what you're comfortable yeah, with. Yeah, so like this at our home, we'll be at the front door just welcoming them. Um, mingling, moving around, always looking for who doesn't have someone to talk to. Yeah, that yeah. Sort of thing, just being a good host. So that's to facilitate the networking yeah. and activity. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I got a question. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, so, so, so what is the typical theme then of the event? Is it just to gather, have a good time? Like, what, what is the overall theme if you're not really talking about real estate in itself real estate. Yeah. that's a good question because a lot of times people think they have to have a seminar at everything they do but this is just let's get together yeah i've had you know you're ice skating events yeah you're having yeah. a party you're having a party. you're having a party you're getting to know people on a personal level they're getting to know you but you could take that you know if, if you're not comfortable with that you can always have a seminar like first time home buyer seminar over tacos or something um or you could have um like john and i were talking in the elevator and, and he was talking about um how they did a cooking class you know so that's something that's instructor led um but yeah you're pretty much just right and you'll see more about what this looks like and feels like when we get to the marketing 
Yeah. Because you'll see it doesn't say come to my pool party so I can talk to you about real estate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just don't come to my pool that. party. That's all it's about. And it's like, oh, let's go to the pool party. Right. That's right. what happened. Real quick about on the networking activities. I like I said, I've done movie night. Mm -hmm. I found out stuff about my people. Like uh this one guy came, I uh, was a past client, she got married, so her husband's there. And her son, who's now huge, he was a little kid when, we, when she bought the house. Yeah. And I had another client come out and they got talking about their boat, but not them, but the first one. Mm -hmm. And the other guy says, oh, yeah, we were on the crew team of, X I didn't know, the guy was on the crew team at West Springfield High School. Oh and we talked gosh. about his brother and he went to the Nationals and qualified for the Olympics. Wow. And the guy says, oh, yeah, I was on the yacht. And these, these two people who did not even know each other had this water sport connection. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that happens all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I, yes. Two of my clients were talking about, I mean, they, you know, lived in Northern Virginia pretty much all their lives. So they were talking about how, you know, everything was changing, you know, like yeah. just remember this, remember that. So it's just to have a good time and to, you know, get to know each other. Um, and then they, they remember you, right? Because they, if you're reaching out to them by, um, you know, if you have phone, if you're calling them about the market or if you're calling, or if you're sending a newsletter about the market, yeah. you know, they already know that you're in real estate. So yeah. this is sort of something that cements that relationship. Okay. And it's really efficient too, because you're seeing, you know, a lot of people at once. <laughs> um, Meaning you need to make it efficient. Don't just right. hang out. Don't let one person take all your time. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I have to. to <laughs> I can tell that. by that reaction. You've had that happen that mm -hmm. someone comes in like, uh, I got 15 <laughs> other people here. Nice talking to you, Betty. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Right. But you have to find someone to talk to. <laughs> right. Yeah. John said you got to find Betty someone to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, okay, so, all right, well, I guess, um, okay, we talked about facilitate networking activities, yeah. okay. And, and the photographer, is this a uh, camera photographer or just someone with some good skills with their cell phone? Or which... Depends on what the event is. If it's uh, like your 10-year anniversary, you know, you'd want to hire a professional photographer. If it's, you know, something like movie night, or, you know, you could take pictures just fine. Yeah. Like you could have, you know, I, I use my daughter for casual. everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> what am I getting paid here, mom? <laughs> yeah. You're sleeping in my house, aren't you? Yeah. That's what, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, after the event, so, okay, you're touching them three, or actually, we're in the fifth touch now because. They actually came to your event wow. if, if they came, right? Like wow, that's I mean, so email invite. Yeah. Call, did you get my email? Yes. A week before the ones who haven't responded. Yeah. Then the event. Then the event. So yeah, we're at the fourth touch. Yeah. Uh, and then so when I usually send thank you notes. But sometimes if you don't have time, you can just text them, you know, and then sometimes they just like, they text you pictures. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, but I make sure to follow up with mm -hmm. each one of them. Right? right. And for the people, I haven't really done this, but if you want to reach your whole sphere again, just say, Hey, sorry to miss you. You know, we had a lot of fun and um, hope everything's well. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. And then. So, so what's the feedback? How do you. So um, you could do that in Google Forms or you could do that in survey month. Oh, you're, you're like really. Yeah. Like how did my event go? Give me a survey or something. Wow. Right, okay. Right. Wow. I mean, I, I haven't tried it yet, but I, I did in my other events or my other events. Um, I mean, when not, not real estate related. Um, but yeah, you can always find out like what you can do better, um, what worked. Um, yeah, and it's yeah, they don't have to. So we say plan follow up. But do you mean 
hey, let's get together. You're saying one on one now. Do you need plan follow up interactions, or you as the agent need to plan? What are my follow up interactions I need to do? Is that what you mean? Or yeah, me as an agent. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can okay. go to the next slide. Yeah. <laughs> and evaluate. Okay, so yeah, yeah and then plan for improvements. Okay. I think that's it. No. Okay. All right. Okay. So, well, so do you, yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Oops. Oh my gosh. I just turned off that computer. Oh no. Hold on, people. All right. There we go. We still on? Good. Okay. Any questions so far on this? Because you're really going to see visually how she's doing it with the next stuff we're going to do. So, any questions so far at this point? I see a few chats. Can't hear very well. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, good now. Yeah, all right. Got it. What's a typical budget? That I was mean, the question. You know I what? Like why don't we go through each individual one? Okay. And you can say, on this one, I spent X. On that one, I spent Y. Yeah. All right. So let's get out of the PowerPoint here, y'all. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, I, I spend like zero because I get my sponsors to help. Right. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so Anthony, now we need the class on sponsors. How do we get sponsors? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So right. Um, you know, so you're gonna probably turn around here now and see these because I don't have it on. Oh, okay. The screen. Yeah, Universal Title is you know they usually sponsor events, um, and now they've become stricter about it. Like I had to fill out, you know, a whole questionnaire, yeah. but they, they just want to know what's in it for them. Yeah. And UT and your lenders, they have federal regulations they have to abide by. Right. And so yeah. um, just remember that. So this yeah. is like, um, Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all right. So like now we're getting page. through the, we're getting, oh, that's your intro page. Okay. Client. Okay. So she's okay, got this. So I just went just real quick. So she's got client appreciation events. And then you got um, micro events yeah, and you've got office, office events. events that agents can plug into. Right. So that's what we're, so first we're going to go through her actual client events. Yeah. So this was when I first started, um, I had this breakfast with breakfast and mimosas with Santa mm -hmm. with three other agents in the office. Um, and it was a packed room. Um, All right, real quick online. Are y'all seeing the slides here? Just want to make sure. Yep. Okay, good. All right, good. Thanks. So, yep, we hired Santa. That was actually, um, oh gosh, she's still an agent here. Um, Susie, I can't remember, but that was like his, her, her husband? No, her oh. like brother in law or something. Okay. And she's um, my photographer and one of my top referrers also. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so we paid this event. I mean, you know, I paid her like $200. To, to do, do photography. photography. Yeah, for two hours. Um, and then, yeah, that was my rug. Oh, and this no. is the, um, and this is the room across the hall, across the courtyard. Yeah, we don't right. have that anymore. Right. But, you know, yeah. So in our new space, we'll have a really great area to do some stuff. We've got okay. a nice cafe we're, we're planning. So. I wasn't sure if I could yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's going to be great. It's okay, be great. good. And then, yeah, if you scroll a little yeah, bit down little here, down. you'll see it's, it's a nice spread. You know, we, we yeah. got the muffins in half, and we had fruit. Is this one family right here? Or is that yeah, everybody? This, these are Arby's clients. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I see the big picture there. That's a pretty big event. Yeah, it was pretty big. Was pretty so big. you do this with someone else? Yeah, with three other agents. Okay. Do y'all see how that works? And before, yeah. um, you know, I I posted it on my Facebook groups like ostrich parents and caregivers. So I actually had strangers come. Yeah, yeah. Because um, folks, now this free photo with Santa. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That ain't cheap. You no. go to the mall. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you can spend up to a hundred bucks to get this whole package of thing with your kid, and they don't want you with your picture doing it yourself. They right. want you to use their photography. So that's a that's actually you know for families with kids who do the Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Free photo is pretty big. Right. Yeah, and I, I, I've met people I didn't know, like that went to that That's event. Crazy. They just RSVP. That's crazy. Like now was that on your business my, page on Facebook, or what was it on that you? Um, my so I belong to two Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. I actually manage them. So, um, 
Yeah, so I put it, put it on false church there. Pause that right there. She manages a Facebook. We should probably do something on that with yeah, groups out there. It is a lot of work. I have a I have a moderator. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. But I've gotten. Referrals. And this is one of your first ones that you did. Um. Yeah. So this yeah. is one of the first ones. Okay. And same with this. Remember Amal and Tony. Yeah. Breakfast um, with the Easter bun. Yeah. So this one, I think I spent like thirty five dollars <laughs> <laughs> on like the champagne and the orange juice. I just went to Aldi's. Um. And. I think we had, um, yeah, Highlands Mortgage. Yeah, yeah, way they, back when. Yeah, and Smart Settlement Site. So it was April 7th on a Sunday. You did Sunday that day. Yeah. Because yeah, then they probably might have been, if they were doing Easter, they were probably dressed up. and. Right, yeah. Yeah, and it was breakfast. So what was your whole spread there? Oh, pretty much the same thing, but we had those yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah, the Easter the thing. Bird. Okay. Free photo again. Free photo. Alina Nick Nick Todovich. Nick Yeah. So it was a good advertising for her too. Good. And I, I and you know, now I don't know if you know this. It, personal photography is big now. Oh, is it? For well, for a high school graduation, uh, yeah. for engagements, they go off to the park. So you get a photographer that will do this for you for a discount. She can or she or she can say, have a professional photographer? Do you have kids graduating or anything like that? that. Yeah, it's yeah. a big business now. Mm -hmm. So okay, this, this is obviously this during COVID. Everyone's wearing masks. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, yeah. this was in Fairfax Ice Arena mm -hmm. and I should have scoped out the venue. I mean, I think they're, you know, nicer looking rink. Um, but, but you I mean, did get, but but they it, gave you a corner here or something. Yeah, right? so it was like a birthday party. Like right. they gave me a birthday party, right? Okay. You know, um, so I mean, I would say it was like five hundred dollars yeah. for the whole event. And you see, already it's it's dividing up your database into those that are turned on by a certain event. Yeah, oh, Christmas yeah. with Santa, or just a photo with Santa, Easter Bunny, and I got some free now. My crew, none of my skip. So, <laughs> right, right. But you've got a bunch of people there that do hockey and ice skate, and obviously. Yeah, and it also, you know, when during Breakfast with Santa, I had, you know, my daughter was really young. Yeah. So I try to incorporate what works for my family. We, we talked much. about that, <laughs> that you can kind of follow where you are in your stage of life. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so did my you, daughter was really into ice skating. <laughs> right. So you got, you got the rink. Did you pay for the tickets? Yes. I wow. paid for the tickets. Okay. So like what the, was something like this? Cause it looks like you got like 20 or some people there. It was like under $500. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Okay, and this is the yeah, famous movement event. night. Yeah, famous movement night. I've already yeah. signed up for uh, this September, uh, October, September. Yeah. I've already signed up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, she, well, maybe you can talk about that. Well, this is at AMC Tyson's Corner, and I'll tell you, one of the things I have to get over is that people will come to Tyson's Corner to do something. They will. I was surprised how many, I think I had like eight people show up. Say, wow, it's a hundred and some people. Yeah, but I'm getting referrals out of that. Yeah, so again, it's about sure. the referral. Mm -hmm. And it was also everyone knows I do a movie night. And every year it's someone, it's a different group that comes out. But the tables are set up. See the yellow sign? That's all set up for the door prizes. Uh the event also puts a um a placard together for you. You just literally show up. Yeah. And um, what do you do with the um, extra movie passes? I hang on to them. Okay, but and you can sell them back, right? You can. Okay. Well, she only charges you for what you use. Okay. I say I, I want see. 25, and if I use 15, I can hand those back. Okay. But I hang on I to them, and I yeah, and I toss it. Oh, they're they're Hot they're ever yeah. like referrals. You hear like someone's having a referral. Yeah, someone's having a party. You see on Facebook, and say, hey, I don't know what you guys are planning, but here's four tickets to the AMC. Um, very interactive. I had one guy show up and he was there. I said, in your movie, like at four? Yeah, but I thought I'd show up like two hours before. I'm like, okay. So we talked 
And he oh, lived, that's nice. Yeah, long time. <laughs> His family's like out of country right now, do. yeah. This one's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is my latest event, um, Cinco de Mayo. And uh, so it was the dreariest day. But ship garden again, so that's where you're... Well, this is my uh, the first and only yeah. event so far that I've done at the ship, ship okay. garden. And that's another thing. They already put out a Cinco de Mayo event. Oh, like, cool. they have all these themed events. So all you have to do is really show up and... Pay the tickets. Pay the tickets. Um, so all that food was already set up by ship guard. Yeah. For whatever they were doing. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. Yeah, because they had, um, like, a Mexican band, and they had... Um, Dang, you didn't have to pay for that. decorations. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to pay for a thing. So... Um, and, yeah, and they, they have, have so do they have like shipgarden.com or something you could go to? Yeah, shipgarden.com. It's right there. It's right there, shipgarten, G A R T E N. Yeah. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, it was it was really like it was that day that everyone yeah. was just like, I mean, it rained all day, but it was dry when I had the event. So that was nice. Um, is, it, is it like an outside venue? It's an outside venue. The thing is, they have to get in the, on a shuttle to go up. You know, it takes you up the hill. Okay. You can pay for a valet park. That's like $20. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I, I still think, you know, considering... Um, it's still an event in a box. Kind of like... Yeah. You're not having to do all the planning that you were lining up. You didn't yeah. have to do the food. Didn't have, you knew the venue, but the venue's already there. Right. It's like they're having an event, show up with your crew. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, That's it's good simple. for everybody. There's, you know, bouncy houses there. She's loving the nachos. She's loving the nachos. Yeah. Yep. Now yeah, what's this, is this the right here? I'm talking about. Right, but then what's this? What is this oh, yeah, versus this? this? Is a pop by to oh gosh. <laughs> that was actually me. <laughs> um, um yeah, this is a pop by tag. Um I had like so, so what is this on the left and, here? Oh, well, this is my flyer. So, okay. yeah, it talks about, you just, you know, who, what, when, where, why. Yeah. Um, Cinco de Mayo Fiesta. Um, when, where it is, and then Nacho Bar drinks, live music, face painting. Face did painting, I didn't have painting? to. No, they ship did. garden did that. Wow. Man. <laughs> no, I mean, did she... My wife's a face painter, so I was like, you had to hire someone or what? No, it was... You do an event with your wife. She's yeah. a face painter. Yeah, she's very good. But but she, uh, but she, that was already happening. Did they go pay for face no. painting? Oh, my gosh. This and is like... You should check out Ship I'm Garden. I'm tattooing because... Ship Garden on my hand here. Yeah. It's like very simple. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can go to this. Okay, one. got it. Okay, real quick, though. This is a tag. What do you do with this tag? Oh, this is my pop-by tag. Um, but I use I usually use as a giveaway, I usually use my pop buys for that month. So I had a tag, not this one, that's a very old one. Um, but I had hot tamales and then like oh. uh like chip. Oh no, no, they were yeah. nuts. They were nuts and um Do y'all see the tag? Chris Thomas is nacho average real <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, but like a hot sauce, you know, type oh, of Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. So uh, just a, a, little, a hot away. sauce packet and that's like hanging over the edge of it or something. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay, okay, got it. And they even have games like Ooh. Jenga. And they have like cool. Okay, so this was at the Meadowlark Gardens. Oh, I love that place. Same, same thing. I know. My daughter's wedding was there. Oh, wow. Very that's nice. Um, so... Yeah, it was a it was a photography event. Um, so did you have? Because I know this is out in Vienna, folks. It's like this yeah. this huge park in the middle of Vienna. Um, and so did you? You just how did you arrange that? Let me just ask that. How did that? How, how did you get we, there? And well, have the photographer? I mean, does Metalog just say, "Yeah, just come on in"? Or um, yeah. I mean, I didn't have to reserve a space. Oh, they okay. do have a pavilion. Um, that you can pay for very minimum, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, we just, it was a big crowd, so right. we just pretty much had this whole area to ourselves and we were there you for just a couple hours. You just kind of took it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, everyone had fun. 
the one thing that I would have done differently was I didn't have this sponsored. Yeah, I didn't have this right. sponsored. So I was out reading the event. I mean, reading my right. um, my guests, but that was all the way at the front entrance. Right. And, you know, I didn't get to the photo event oh. later. So and I you had a photographer? Photo. Yeah. I would definitely get someone to, you know, read the events and then have in a mingle. You know, while yeah, because it was a really nice right. There's my mom. Okay. <laughs> my cool. <laughs> she was my number one fan yeah. and referral. She she actually gave me a lot of. Now I don't know. Is it a number one? Okay. So before we go away from this one, this one actually has an indoor venue. It's like a botanical indoor garden. Uh, my daughter's wedding was here. And so we had tables, 200 people, and there's a there's a a stream that flows through it. That oh. and there's a little bridge that goes over the stream, and they got a whole okay. big area. Now, if you do something like that with food, they require to use their vendors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a and big one like that, not cheap. It was like the venue itself was five thousand dollars. Oh my god. But we but that included our food bill and all that. Okay. Well, because we were going to have my mom's celebration of life yeah. here, and so I looked into the pavilion, and the pavilion was really, um, and it, I mean, it was like under a thousand. What's the pavilion? Um, it, it's I guess it's just this covered. Oh, here. Place, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Not at all. Bad. Yeah. We're thinking about. Yeah, we had the run of the place. No one else was there. That's probably Yo, why. That's nice. And plus, we said wedding, and suddenly it went. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moms remember that. Oh, yeah. You say wedding at anywhere, it's gonna go up, man. It, it was like crazy. But we had a it was really a great venue. Yeah. And they had the rooms for the bridesmaids and the, the oh. grooms when they get dressed and everything. It's it's all set up. Yeah. yeah. And one of my um just acquaintances, um, she came to the event. She had like six kids. Her husband was away. Um uh, she got he got stationed somewhere, and they ended up buying um, a two million dollar home for me. Wow! You know, so it's like you just never know. What but look, but out. see that is it nothing about real estate, photos yeah. and flowers. Um, you do have is on the back side of this card. You got your logo and stuff, or where is that? Oh, see, I didn't even have that. This might be a a draft that I put in here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um. Yeah, but always put your picture and your yeah. logo. Um, if they have a picture, it's fine. Yeah. Remember, y'all, she's been with nine years, 50 events. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is a pool party. I wish I got more pictures, better pictures. Um, so yeah, this is that pool party I was talking about. These okay. I got from like Debbie was nice enough to lent them to me. The tablecloths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that I use I use that a lot to you know for my events. Um, that definitely signifies these tables are for something. Yes. Don't and just show up and everybody because if it's if it's pool party, other people are there, the community's there, right? Yeah. yeah. A reserve sign. So, yeah. 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 Right. Put like a reserve. a reserve sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So other than that's fine. Cool. And that is a, and it seems like I'm seeing that a lot of these are two to four, two to four, two to four. Yeah, just a two hour event. Okay. That's a good point. Two hour event. Picks and pints. I like this one. Yeah. So, yeah, I love how he has his hat there. Um, that's actually a stock. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, this one was it. This is another good venue. I think Tim Pearson does it in this venue. And then also um, Steve McElveen. Uh -huh. Um, but it's on top of um, on top of the Wegmans at Tyson. Oh yeah, yeah. So you've been there. Well, I know Wegmans has a lot of that. They have a lot of uh. Yeah, attract. Well, this is actually owned by the county, so. Okay, got it. Um, that's how they made this whole park happen. Okay. Um, so Wegmans and Tyson, so it's not the same then, like. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Okay. So, so you you invite them to Wegmans or this park? Oh no, this park. Um, it's called the Perch because it's sitting on top of like I don't okay. know, like. Apple, where is uh, it? Nice. I don't know. Stuff. Where is that? Um. It's oh, this is on top of a building. Yeah. Oh. And oh. Brand new. Okay. 
you know, they don't really charge an arm and a leg because it's a county park. Um, the perch on top of the Capital One building. Yeah, they have. Never heard of that. Oh, yeah, you should check it Instead out. Instead of Wegmans, I thought, oh, okay, it's Wegmans. No, it's not Wegmans. It's, it's something nicer than that. Yeah, it's like on 123. Okay, yeah. By, yeah. by, by Texas. So, yeah, it was another okay. photography event. They could bring their dog. Uh, they didn't have a dog. Okay. Okay, so office events. Guys, take advantage of office events yeah. because they're the, you know, everything's pretty much, you know, you don't have to think yeah. really. Um, so this was one of my code drives. Okay, so I took this another level. I, I talked with the people at Giant and I asked if I could, you know, set up a little, um, not a booth, but, you know, just a space just a spot. so they yeah. could donate coats. And they gave me like this free, this nice looking box. Um, and people, you know, people came in and just donated coats. And I gave them like, like a ten dollar gift card uh -huh. or you know if they donate both so oh. um yeah like a star a starbucks gift card because there is a starbucks coffee right so yeah so that's um what I like my the way your brain works what uh, that what i like the way our brain works yeah <laughs> it's like i got this how can i expand it that's what i'm seeing yeah i'm always thinking about like yeah you know, I don't know what I was doing there. It's like a yoga yeah. pose or something. But okay, so this is the um, Toys for Tots. Right. So if you have something that's um, uh, that's toward the you know Christmas time, um, you can always mention it because yeah, it's 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 actually better if you have something charitable. Right. You know, I'm gonna start doing that too. You know, for all my events, um, just to tie in something that's for a cause. Um, this was during COVID. We, um, where was that? I at? Just, it wasn't really a little photo. Where was oh, that? Oh, this is at Community Dive. Community Dive. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, oh, I put my little card there. I don't okay. know why. But that, that was like for the giving away something on, in that bag, though. I don't know. Um, no, no, that was for, oh, right, okay, yeah, Julie put together, um, because, you know, the Comunidad is for, you know, underserved, right. you know, the underserved community. Down at Seven Corners down here. Yeah, and so um, we put together, you know, what they needed, like packaged goods, and yeah, in case they wanted to buy a house, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I put my card on there. Right. Um, I mean, that's what we did that year with COVID. Oh, that made sense with COVID. Yeah, with COVID. Because here you just get an individual bag. We're not going to. Uh, sometimes, yeah. I, I mean, I posted that, all that. Um, on my Facebook groups again. Yeah. And my personal one. Um, and I, you know, I just went around um, people's houses and, and, and gathered them, you know. And, right. And, and you're doing a good, you know, something good to the community. Right. And they recognize you. And that's, I think that's so important because of all the, negative light that us realtors are getting right. right now like we're just going to pay all this money and you know we don't do anything to the community when that's far from the truth um okay so and then this we had um way back when uh, we used to have a lunch bunch with um oh, okay yeah that was through um yeah that was through eric like okay. through and eric yeah um so you can always invite your clients if they want to volunteer, right? Um, backpack drive. Right. Uh, so what I'm seeing is we've got Christmas. So it's November, December. Yep. Code drive is about the same time. We do kind of do those together, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And the code drive usually wraps up. I think it's wrapping up like September, October, actually. September, October. And then you got the food drive. But this is yeah, like the summer. toward the, the backpacks like toward the end of the summer, so yeah. that's coming up. Yeah, and so if you had a pool party, uh, you know, in the beginning of the school year, well, or something like that, like if you had an ice cream social or something, they can bring their backpacks. Um, and then the blood and drive. And the blood drive. That's really for just outreach. Right. Um, I haven't really. Okay. Um, yeah. 
I haven't made an event around that. Oh my god, look at us. The hiking <laughs> team. Um, yeah, this was open. This is something that the Health and Wellness Committee is putting together, and we're going to make it a once a month thing. Um, but yeah, yeah. you could invite your clients yeah. to this. I mean, it's for the office, but you could invite clients to join. You know, I posted that on my groups, and they're like, this is a great idea. This is a great uh -huh. idea. But my kids are in school. So I'm like, okay, well, it's going to be, we, awesome. we wanted to do that for the office. Because right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for the summertime, their kids are going to be out of school. They could, they could come out, right? Early so, enough where you're not sweating to death. Yeah, yeah. It was really nice. It was a good, um, yeah. It was a good yeah. One. So office hike. Um, okay, and then the reverse Pi Day. Oh, that's so right. Yeah, Pi Day is huge. Yeah. Yeah, take advantage of this, guys. Um, every around, I think, at the end of it's right before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, so September they start announcing it, and um, you have a choice of pecan pie, apple pie, and pumpkin pie. You don't have to get the pecan pie. Yeah. <laughs> if it's too expensive, um, but you know, apple a lot pie. of apple and and. In um, pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. And the people reserve it because most of them know they're gonna get out. They're gonna get pumpkin from somebody. So but right. come. I'm yeah, always amazed at how many will come out. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't have to drive to you, and you yeah, know, it's like for a five dollar pie. I know. It's out. like okay. Here. Yeah, they come here. We set them all up out here. Yeah. And we, oh, that's right. We do our um our Thanksgiving around the world. Right. Yeah. And then after that, we have the pumpkin. And then usually this is all full of food. And yeah. we'll say, hey, grab a plate and get something to eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we do our, we do around the world first. Around the world. And then this is afterwards. Uh, yeah. And I just kind of come by, um, you know, all hours of the afternoon. But you can always compress that, right? Um, yeah. And I remember it was also raining that day. And one of my clients just couldn't get in and she was a little bit like elderly. So I'm like, okay, well, let me bring it out to you. Yeah. And he, he couldn't come, but he lived right by me. So I just hand delivered it to them. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good way to. And what, what does this usually run you as far as um, cost? Oh gosh. They're not $5 dollars. now. Let me say they're 10 bucks. So if you give out a 10 pies, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah. It's all here. Yeah. So you're not having to drive around and put them in your car and right. yeah it's it's really efficient um okay. and oh yeah i was sort of behind the ball on the last popeye that we did so what i did was the first you know 15 people who you know say okay i need a pie um will get a pie right so people are still seeing your um, your pie and everyone's like, and the, for the people who missed out, they're like, oh my gosh, I missed it. I missed it. I got to be on a ball next time. You know, yeah. so they like, yeah. So. Cool. Community events. Okay. Yeah. Almost done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of events. Okay. So this is something. But you can find something that is like, works for you. Maybe you don't have the kid function. Yeah. Because you're not, you know, you're past that time of life now. Right. I would I probably like would not do the long. Easter thing right now because all my well maybe I would because we got grandkids. So yeah. maybe that would work. Yeah. If you like pickleball, why don't you you know have a pickleball event like yeah. have a picnic afterwards or something. Um okay so this one I piggybacked on another event. This was actually at my friend's church. And um, it was a trunk or treat. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we had a twister game and they got to they got candy and then I had like raffle prizes. So for these community events, you're going to meet a lot of strangers. So what I do is I usually have a raffle where I cool. get their name and their number and their email. Um, and I follow up with them that way. What do you raffle? Um. Oh gosh, I've raffled. I want to raffle something bigger, like a like a Yeti or something, you know. Um, but I've raffled like Google Minis and okay. Um, sometimes like a Home Depot card, gift card. Oh, I've raffled um a big huge gift basket mm -hmm. um, of like you know goodies and stuff. Um, cool. yeah. So excellent. So, oh yeah. Oh, this so is... this is um in Pivot Hills. Um, okay. and we have this event called Pivot Hills Day. Oh, okay, cool. So I hired a face painter. I have a great contact for um someone who does 
like face paint. Well, you won't need it because your wife does yeah. it. Um, like face painting, balloon making. Um, he even does like um, trivia nights and karaoke. Like he's a whole event planner guy. Oh, and cool. His like I only paid like two hundred dollars for the face painter. Um, so really economical. Is that a balloon person with the yeah. polka dot? Because I think she's got she's got her her apron on. I know she's got a lot of stuff going on there. Okay. And my li the lines to this was out. Wow. You know, so long. Um, yeah, and you got to talk to, talk to people that yeah. way. Um, yeah, cool. so it's just getting, and we have these. And they held that like, the bottom of the cup. Yeah. And then I also do McLean Day, which is, um, they have the rides, the carnival rides and everything. Very well attended. Um, I gave them like a $10 gift card, which could get them just like a funnel cake. These yeah, days. right. Um, so you got a a tin card uh, is a gift card from McLean Festival. Yes. That they sell like a ticket or well, something. Well. Oh okay. I, you know what? I actually yeah. just gave them cash. Oh okay. <laughs> I, didn't to, I didn't have time to like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Look into the gift card, but whatever. They oh yeah, yeah. That. There we go. So there's my big gift basket. Um, I hired the face painter. Uh, Christy from New York. I was going to say, is that Christy? Yeah. Yeah, and her daughter helped too. Like teens, if they need community service hours. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Great way to get them to Good work. Good deal. And these are Oops, little sorry. tchotchkes. Like I had a little uh -huh. Christy, like for dogs and popcorn. I think that's popcorn in a bag. Um, cool. Nice. Okay, and this one's really a sponsorship, but you're still getting your name out there. Like this is when my daughter graduated from the sixth grade and it was really cute. They made a little poster poster for me. Um, I sponsored the photo booth and um, you know, this is what it pumps out. Um, you know, me and you know, the school name and then my, my lender chipped in. And so funny because they had the other photographer <laughs> Come back. They had the same photographer come back the next year. Yeah. I didn't sponsor it, but he left my logo on there. Like one of my <laughs> friends like texted me and she was like, guess what? Your name is still on here. I'm like, great, free advertising. Um yeah, but you're getting in front of parents. A lot right. of parents volunteer for this, teachers, mm -hmm. the principal. So um, okay, and these are more another Easter egg. Where's this events. one at? This one was in Pemmet Hills. Okay. It's my crew um of moms who put together something, you know, like that was all yeah. So that's the thing. You don't even have to spend money really. Like right. you know, everyone just kind of contributes. But did you, you get go, the booth? Yeah, so no, that, was that. that was someone's tent. Okay, got it. No, I mean, did you have to res reserve a space? At Pimmy Hill. No, no. It's okay. it's the part by the library. So yeah. I mean, maybe we did. Yeah. Don't take a spot. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Maybe. yeah. All right, micro events. Yeah, micro events. All right, this is the last piece there, folks. But micro yeah. events are pretty cool. I like this. So yeah, you pretty much and this is um these are all coffee events. Um, this was at my friend's house. This was at a coffee shop in McLean, coffee shop in Falls Church, coffee shop in McLean. So, um, and, you know, like I said, I, I run two Facebook groups, so um, I'm pretty well known there, like I pitch in a lot of, you know, so um, they just show up. So it's a good way to meet people. So you just, but, this is a Facebook ad or, or just Facebook posting and, yeah. and you just say, I'm going to be here. Right. And they right. just show up. But then I, I touch my, the people who I know. Yeah. Like, hey, are you coming? Yeah. And then I advertise it for the whole, you know, community. See, I can really see this working really well, like my stuff. I'm all over the county and I'm in Prince William County. And I'm in so to pinpoint, you know, like a coffee shop and really go after the ones that have bought in that area. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, then because yeah, and that's the thing. I, I, I mean, I go like here in Falls Church and they live in Manassas. Eh, okay. Yeah. But I do something in Old Town Manassas. Mm -hmm. Or something in Old Town yeah. Fairfax, or something you know, right? Like and you that. don't have to have a Facebook group. Like you no, can no. be, you can just post it in the group as a member, right? Yeah. Just say, hey, I'm, bring, I'm having this event, and people, you know, everyone wants to connect with people, you know. Right. right. And, uh, yeah. So, 
I see four here. That looks like a house. Yeah, this is at my friend's house. Okay, but that's cool. Yeah, she just she, had it. She opened up her house. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just a, neighbor. well, they used to call it a coffee clatch. Oh. Yeah, oh, I don't know why, really? why they called them that. Yeah, all of them have a coffee clatch. And it's just a group of folks that got together. So, so what's the what's the pull? I mean, that's a lot of people to come oh to gosh, get this coffee. One, yeah, this one was like I was surprised that many people came. Um, that was because I had this was the first. That's one. twelve people. Yeah, on this lower one here. And and and, and the people, coffee shop's got to love it. Right. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Like this is the owner. And, okay. Um, I got another picture with one of the owners. Um, yeah. And then what you do is you. Search them on Facebook, right? And friend them. The people. The people. Yeah. Okay. And then Oh, you know, in your group. In in my group. Got it. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. And um yeah, and, and and you post pictures afterwards. And you know, there's always that FOMO and yeah. you know what's FOMO? Like fear of missing out. Oh okay. <laughs> wow. I see it in college. <laughs> um and then yeah, and then people are like commenting, like, "When are you gonna have your next one?" Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Well, what are the different locations here, citywide? Oh, okay, so this was in um, Pivot Hills. Yeah, Bella okay. Loco. All right. Um, not really in the neighborhood, but right. like, by the Trader. Right, Trader. right, okay. Um, Italian espresso and tea. Yeah, they have like bubble tea. Okay, drinks got it. All right. that too. Um, and then this one just opened. Oh my gosh, like a little cafe latte was like. 10 bucks wow. but you know it was it was really good right and okay cool had, um yeah you know little breakfast with yeah they have breakfast a whole thing but uh -huh. everyone pretty much just got coffee um this one was in um oh gosh um but it was in all in mclean also but okay. the venue is escaping me because they were actually rude oh boy <laughs> yeah we won't mention the venue um yeah, okay. Yeah, because they... So did you just show they, up, or did you tell these folks, I'm bringing a group of, of well, folks? Actually, I I, I, um, I, just kind of gave them the... You know, I kind of gave them a heads up that I'm, yeah. you know, going to bring people. And they couldn't reserve... Um, they couldn't reserve any tables. I'm like, I'm bringing you business. So, right. Yeah, that was um, a little bit... Not so well. did y'all have two tables or you put all these people around that one table? Um, yeah, we only had this crew. I think we had two tables. Okay. So, um, yeah, they weren't very welcome. Okay. But these guys, they loved us. Apparently, man, <laughs> look at that. That's huge. And this Java, <laughs> Java Loco. Oh, yeah. Java Loco is more laid back. Yeah. Um, and this was at my neighbor's house. And why why did you do your neighbor's house? Just to get the folks in the neighborhood, I guess? The ladies in the neighborhood? So, yeah, she, okay, so I got the idea from my neighbor, actually, because she's the one who puts, who puts these coffee get-togethers. Oh, okay. And then COVID happened and stopped. And that's yeah. why, you know, we're, like, having it in that space now. Um, which is fine, too, for, like, strangers, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then so she got busy with her three kids, so I, you know, kind of took over, and I made it a more oh, okay. routine, like a okay. once a month thing. Like they have an invite, you can use. Don't be afraid to use um, the invite, um, the event pool on Facebook, where they can actually RSVP. Right. And, you know, they get a message, but but don't rely on Facebook because a lot of people don't check. Um, you know, right. text them, call them. Say hey, I'm having this event. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah hey. Happy hour meetups. Okay, so this is the same concept. Um, this was at um, Dominion Beer and Wine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's and, nice. Yeah, it's it's really nice over there. During COVID, we had an event there, and they had a big old tent outside. It was it was um, it was. Oh, had an event there. What yeah, was when I was at another office. Oh, okay. But they had heaters for the tent, and so we had it outside. Oh, but wow. it was nice. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. Okay. So, and then this was in McLean Matchbox just opened. So I thought 
Yeah, we, I mean, that could be an interesting thing where you have an event. Hey, here's a new restaurant. Let's get together. You know, here's another. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, maybe people went for the cafe because Cafe Levante. Um, yeah, that one was twelve people. Right, they just opened. Okay, so, but yeah, everyone enjoyed each other. Balducci's. You can't go wrong with Balducci's there in this lower picture. Oh, here. right. Yeah, yeah Balducci's. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. So, any cool. questions, guys? All right. Uh, so yeah, right. and even oh okay, I guess. There we go. Um, all right. Okay, so Brian, cool. Spencer, iPhone, good deal. Anything else? Yeah. All right. So it is now. Yeah, we're getting toward the end here. So what I would okay. say, folks, we wanted to have you open up a Word document and uh, plan what you're going to do. So here's what I would give you as an assignment. Uh, okay, um, plan out backpack, because we're probably going to do backpack, but what it's the, all the front stuff, which is like, what's my, um, what's my list? How am I going to promote it? Am I going to go pick them up or are I going to have them bring them by here? Usually the coat drive and the backpack, we just start getting them and showing up here. We just start mm -hmm. bringing it. It's your opportunity to go by and pick it up. I think back if you can have an yeah. event around it, right? Right, like, right. Say, you know, um, like an ice cream social. You can even right. have it at your house. Right. And um just say, hey, I'm having everyone over for ice cream and bring your backpack because we're having this backpack drive. Right, right. Good idea. Yeah, and and, and plug in Comunidad so they know it's a legit nonprofit. Right. You know? And and the um social committee will send you flyers that you can redo. Actually, I don't know if you yeah. redo them. I do redo them. To yeah. put them in, but they have a generic flyer that you can send out to people. Well, that, like having for Red Day, too. I mean, we could have invited our um, office for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they sent out Stuff a generic like flyer. So. All right, folks. Thanks and, so much for just, coming out. And those who are watching the recording, uh, this is... <laughs> June 2024. So, uh, but all this stuff is evergreen. Wonderful. And just reach out if you have any questions. If you want, you know, to show me your outline, if you want to right. go through an outline with me on how to set up an event, I'd be happy to help you. Good deal. Thank you all. Thanks, Chris. All right. You're welcome. Bye.